Hey everyone, Kyle Walker here. If you love cars, fixing things, or just want to understand your vehicle better, you're in the right place. I share hands-on tips, smart driving advice, and straight-up car talk without the fluff. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stick around till the end. You don't want to miss what's coming up. Let's a get into it. modern automatic transmission is the second most complex unit after the engine, and one of its main units is a planetary gear. But the most interesting thing is that this mechanism has more than 100 years of history. It was first used in 1908 on a Ford Model T car. However, it was used on a manual gearbox. Many people do not know, but the first automatic transmission appeared even earlier, in 1906. It was three-stage and with a hydraulic drive, which took root and was used everywhere until recently, when the control of the automatic transmission was transferred to electronics. But the planetary gearbox is still the most common type among automatic transmissions. Device, principle of operation. The automatic transmission can be schematically represented as a construction consisting of two parts, a planetary mechanism and a torque converter. The torque from the power unit is transmitted to the torque converter. It is the torque converter that transforms the torque, reacting to changes in the driving mode or does not transmit rotation at all. There are three shafts in the gearbox, drive, intermediate, driven, and their gears are in constant mesh. Transition to another gear is carried out by connecting the idler shaft to a certain pair of gears. In the automatic box, the principle is different. The choice of the necessary mode of movement is carried out by locking the corresponding gears of the planetary mechanism. The design of the planetary gearbox or planetary gearbox includes a sun gear taking rotation from the torque converter through an element called the driver to which are connected satellites in the number of three or four pieces. Satellites are connected to the crown gear. Its second name is ring gear. All of the above elements of the planetary gear contains a friction type brake mechanism, in rare cases, band brakes, which is used to lock the gears. To understand the principle of operation of the planetary gearbox, let's consider three simple examples. Let's say we need to accelerate, I, E, shift to a higher gear. In this case, the ring gear locks, and the rotational motion from the torque converter in SS is transferred to the satellites, whose rotation speed increases. The driver as if sums up the rotation of satellites and as a result also begins to rotate faster. When the speed decreases, the driver is fixed while the satellites continue to rotate, which forces the ring gear to reduce its rotation speed. Direct transmission is provided in the following way. The driver is rigidly fixed with the ring gear by means of a friction. All non-active elements of the planetary gear do not rotate, minimizing friction. It is important to realize that in each mode, certain elements of the planetary gear are locked in place. How does the torque is transferred further to the drives? Transfer case for cars with PP or card in shaft for rear wheel drive cars. It's simple. The rotation is removed from those elements that remain unlocked. So, if the driver is blocked, the rotation to the wheels is transmitted from the ring gear. In the case of direct drive, the planetary gearbox is effectively redundant as torque is transmitted directly from the torque converter to the drive. Improvement of automatic transmission aimed at reducing fuel consumption, creating more favorable working conditions for the engine. Improving car dynamics takes place in several directions. For this purpose, the number of planetary gearboxes is increased and all gearboxes, except for the first one, do not contain reduction gears. As a consequence, the forward gear on the second and so on gearboxes is faster than the overdrive gear of the main gearbox. At the same time, additional gearboxes do not need a reduction gear, as the torque is not always removed from them. Read also. What you need to know about the width of tires let's consider in more detail the work of frictions, which, in fact, are responsible for switching modes. Each planetary gearbox includes a set of frictions, thin movable or fixed rings. The movable rings are connected to the rotating parts of the gearbox. If the electronics, reacting to manipulation of the accelerator pedal, creates the appropriate fluid pressure in the automatic transmission, the fixed discs engage with the movable ones. As a result, certain elements, e.g., the CV joint or the driver, are immobilized. This principle is the essence of the planetary mechanism. A lot depends on the electronics. 
It monitors the current speed of the car, as well as the crankshaft rotation speed, regulating the operation of the gearbox and such. A way as to ensure optimal conditions for the engine while minimizing fuel consumption. Modern electronics can even determine the degree of friction wear and when performing a car diagnosis to report this. Those who plan to buy a used car with an automatic transmission, it is useful to know this so you can ensure yourself against the purchase of a car with a faulty transmission. The device of planetary gearbox includes a pump, which functions include the creation of the required pressure in the main line of movement of technical fluid between the lines, the distribution of fluid pressure is regulated by electromagnetic valves. As the value of pressure created by the pump is rather significant, the car with automatic transmission with push-pull cannot be started. Towing of the required pressure cannot provide. If the automatic gearbox with planetary mechanism was directly connected to the engine when stopping the car and changing gears, the engine would stop because there is no clutch. The problem is solved by the torque converter, which actually performs the functions of the clutch, but in automatic mode. It consists of three components. Centrifugal pump rigidly connected to the flywheel shaft, a reactor which, if necessary, blocks the transmission of rotation, a centripetal turbine, whose function is to transmit the converted torque to the planetary gear. The wheels of the turbine and the pump have some clearance between them. The rotation is transmitted to the turbine by means of transmission oil, which is directed from the pump wheel blades to the turbine wheel blades. The geometry of the torque converter elements is selected in such a way that, despite the absence of a rigid coupling between the pump and the turbine, the TM moves in a closed circle. Thus, when the vehicle is stopped, the rotation is transmitted without the need to switch off the gear. When it is necessary to change the current driving mode, the reactor starts to work. When the accelerator pedal is pressed sharply, say, at a start, the rotation speed of the turbine will increases and the reactor stops. This is the so-called torque converter mode. The shape of the reactor blades is such that when the oil returns from the turbine to the pumping section, additional resistance is formed, contributing to the acceleration of the fluid movement. At a certain point in time, the turbine wheel speed is compared with the pump wheel, and then the reactor wheel also comes into motion. Without hindering the movement of the fluid, increasing the efficiency of the automatic transmission. This mode of hydraulic clutch. Read also. How to properly use the auto air conditioner in winter scope of application of planetary gearboxes. At the dawn of the automobile industry, planetary transmissions were also present in manual boxes. For example, in the famous Ford T model. Gears were switched by three pedals. The gas pedal was moved to the paddle shifter. First gear was engaged by the left pedal, second, the center pedal, rear, the right. In 1928, the model was removed from the assembly line, and the era of planetary gearboxes went into oblivion. In the 30s, the first semi-automatic gearboxes of planetary type appeared, which were later supplanted by fully automatic ones. In semi-automatic transmissions, the function of clutch was performed by hydraulic clutch. In automatic transmissions, torque converter. However, planetary gearboxes are still in use. They are installed in tracked vehicles, tractors, excavators, including military. Applications, tanks, transporters, tractors. The planetary mechanism is used in metal cutting machines and even in aircraft engine turbines as a gearbox. Planetary gearboxes are very popular in bicycle transmissions. They are characterized by durability, lightweight and ease of operation, being essentially maintenance-free. However, they significantly increase the cost of two-wheeled vehicles, so they are not used in purely sports models, largely due to the increase in the weight of the vehicle by 1.5 to 2 kilograms, and poor maintainability if compared with parallelogram-type gear-shifting devices. Pros and Cons of Planetary Transmissions the planetary mechanism used in automatic transmissions has a number of undeniable advantages. Compactness of the mechanism, all gears, are composed side by side and located on one axis. Low noise due to minimal loading of the teeth, planetary box provides an increase. In the number of gear ratios, the gearbox operates more smoothly, with much less vibration. Gear teeth have a longer service life, because they can withstand many times more load. But there are also disadvantages. 
The complexity of the design implies a high cost of manufacturing, which affects the final price of the product. Due to the need for high precision in assembly, the repairability of such transmissions is very low. Planetary mechanism is very demanding to loads. If it is abused, the reliability and efficiency of the gearbox drops sharply. The reason is obvious. The complexity of the design and a large number of gears with frequent intensive loading, friction losses, increase, as well as the probability of failure. The automatic transmission is very sensitive to the quality and level of transmission oil. If there are problems with these characteristics, the box will not last long. In any case, the principle of operation underlying the planetary gearbox allows making it more compact than its mechanical counterpart, which is very highly valued in the modern automobile industry. A characteristic feature of planetary mechanisms is the ability to provide the transmission of solid torque, which is very evenly transmitted to the satellites, and the more of them, the less stress the teeth experience. This feature is actively used in heavy military equipment. If all routine procedures are followed, it can be argued that modern automatic transmission has a long service life. If the construction of such a gearbox is designed correctly, it will obviously have a higher efficiency than that of two and three shaft automatic transmissions. It should also be noted that the tendency to produce automatic boxes with an increased number of stages leads to a significant complication of the design caused by the need to use cascade schemes, which affects the reliability of such units. In conclusion, the planetary gearbox is a remarkable piece of engineering that efficiently distributes power through its unique arrangement of gears. By understanding its structure, which includes the sun gear, planet gears, and ring gear, we can appreciate how this system achieves high torque and compact design. Whether in automotive applications or industrial machinery, the planetary gearbox plays a crucial role in enhancing performance and reliability. Thank you for watching, and we hope this exploration has deepened your understanding of this fascinating mechanical system.